Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my husband here with me, Mike, and we will be making a Mexican turkey meatloaf. Um, we've never made this before. I don't have a recipe for it, so we're just gonna make it up as we go. And I think it'll be really good. It's gonna end up being about four Weight Watcher Freestyle points per slice. So that's pretty low point. It's awesome. Are you excited? I am excited. Yep, we're excited. Here we go. So what you will need to make this recipe is some ground 99% fat-free turkey breast. We got this from Trader Joe's. This is zero points. I have measured out one cup of the this um, Mexican light blend from Trader Joe's. This is nine points total. Was it nine? I think it was nine. It was either nine or, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was nine. <laughs> anyway, um, and then we have some taco shells. We're gonna be using two, maybe three of these. They are two points a piece. And we're going to be mashing these up into a baggie and then using them as our um, like breadcrumb agent. And then we have two fresh jalapenos, one tiny little onion, um, one egg that is not pictured here because it's still in the fridge. And we're gonna be using some of this Trader Joe's taco seasoning mix and some Trader Joe's chunky salsa. So these are all the things that you would need. I also have this chunky guacamole, uh, the Trader Joe's reduced guilt. And um, we're gonna kinda add that at the very end, not cook with it, but that'll just be to kinda scoop on top after it's been cooked. So I'm, the first thing I'm gonna do is mash up, I have three of those taco shells in here. I'm just going to crunch these up. It would probably be helpful to use a rolling pin or some kind of apparatus because you want this like really, really finely ground. So, so I couldn't find a rolling pin. So I'm using this nice um, jar of salsa. It's like a rolling pin. And it's working just fine. Okay, so I have put my turkey meat into a big bowl. I mashed it up a little bit. And I'm gonna start adding all of my stuff and mixing it in. So these three taco shells, which now are nice and mashed up. Add them. And we're gonna add, this is the small onion and um, we didn't use all the jalapenos because it it smells really spicy. So <laughs> um, I like spicy food, but I don't want it to burn my face. And then I'm just gonna shake in about half of this packet. And all we need now is the egg, which I have to get. Okay, next is this egg. Here is that. Ugh. Eggs are so gross. I mean, they taste so good, but they're so icky to deal with. Actually, I'm gonna go wash my hands because now I'm all slimy. Okay, hands are all clean. And now, last thing is to just add in the cheese. So I'll add in half and then mix it. Mix this up. So I know with meatloaf, you're supposed to like really get your hands up in there. And um, I'm gonna do what I can with the spoon first because it's just so icky. But um, 
But yeah, I'm just going to get this all mixed in until it's a nice, um, evenly distributed mix of meaty goo. Yeah. Now it is all nice and mixed together and I am going to move it into a loaf pan that I have um, sprayed with some Pam so it doesn't stick. Okay, so here it is in its meat pan and I'm just, or loaf pan, <laughs> meat pan. Um, and so I'm just gonna kind of mash it down so it'll make nice meaty turkey um, size portions and it's nice and flat on top and even. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this spatula um, which, can, can we talk about this here? This is Slytherin spatula. It's awesome. Awesome. And I'm just gonna make, go all the way around the pan so that it's not on the sides because I want the salsa when I, um, when I put the salsa on it, I want some of the salsa to run down the sides so that it gets nice and coated with the salsa. Now, I'm gonna open this. We're gonna call over my husband. Husband, yeah. can you please open open this jar with your incredible strength? Okay, so <laughs> he has opened it, and now I'm just going to pour this on here. I'm gonna use. I've used a little bit more than half of the jar. Let's see how that how that goes. Just want to get it down there on the sides. So normally with meatloaf, you would do like a pasta sauce or a tomato sauce on top. Um, but I thought because this is like a mixy meatloaf salsa would be so good and. It's basically tomatoes, spicy tomatoes. Okay, I think I'm gonna actually just put all of it on there because why not? It's zero points. And sometimes the 99% turkey um, can get a little dry. And I think some of the water that's in this salsa will likely cook off too. So, um, so maybe it won't be as much salsa on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this with foil. I'm gonna put it into my preheated oven, which is preheated at 350 degrees. And I'm gonna cook it for about 50, five zero minutes. And then I'm gonna uncover it and I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of extra cheese on top and then cook it for an additional 10 minutes. So a total cook time of one hour to make sure that it's nice and cooked through. Okay, so our meatloaf is all done. It just came out of the pan. There was a little extra water from the salsa. So I thought it might be best to kind of just take it out of this pan and uh, put it on a plate. And so this is what it looks like. And so what I did was I cut it in half and then I'm gonna cut each of these pieces in half. So this recipe will yield four slices. I put an extra half a cup of cheese on um, the top, which will add another point to each slice. So each slice, and they're about this big of a slice, that's a pretty good size, is five points, which isn't that bad for, you know, uh, a pretty good sized portion of meatloaf. I think it turned out really well and um, I am excited to eat it. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe.